Folks, I want to get ahead of this one. Uh, Republicans are coming for Pete Buttigieg again, and you know it's going to be glorious. What I want to get ahead of this for is um, a lot of what they're attacking him with is very technical in nature, and you got to get out in the weeds to really understand it. I believe I can simplify it so that you can understand it. Um, Indeed, hard evidence should be incredibly simple. After all, seeing is believing. Now, why do I have a feeling my expectations are too high towards this bloke? Where it comes into this train wreck that they are trying to blame on Pete Buttigieg, if you don't know, there was a train wreck up in Ohio. Some drill cars carrying acrylate and vinyl chloride uh, gas derailed. And those things are deadly. They are deadly. And they've been cleaning that mess up. They're cleaning it mess up today. Uh, Republicans are coming at Pete Buttigieg, blaming him for not reinstituting. Now, follow me here. Not reinstituting a regulation that the Trump administration used the Fast Acts poison pill to repeal, which might have helped in this crash. Now, did you understand me there? And this is where it gets a little complicated, folks. The problem with the accusations that Republicans are levying at Pete Buttigieg, they're doing it in a little bullet point. Pete Buttigieg caused trail re train wreck because he didn't uh, uh, reapply legislation signed by Obama. They totally leave Trump out of it. They totally leave, you know, the FAST Act out of it. They totally leave how we got here out of it and just blame Pete Buttigieg, which is bullshit. I mean, it's just bullshit. Pete Buttigieg is part of the administrative, part of the administration. He cannot just create legislation, which this FAST Act repeals regulation, I, I repeals legislation. Pete Buttigieg cannot willy-nilly rewrite that legislation and put it back in place. That has to go through Congress. And guess who in Congress would not allow that to happen? That's right, folks, the Republicans. They are taking their failure and trying to paste it onto Pete Buttigieg. So let me, let me run through this one more time. You've got the FAST Act, which came from the Republicans that were repealed a regulation that increased the safety of rail cars during the Trump administration, the Trump administration to appease these companies and increase uh, donations to Republicans, repealed this regulation that these transportation companies wanted repealed because it cost them money. They are now blaming that on Pete Buttigieg in a perfect little bullet point saying Pete Buttigieg didn't reply Obama, uh, reapply Obama air regulation. Therefore, this train wreck is his fault, which is bullshit. All right, then. If Buttigieg is not to blame, then who is? You guessed it. The puppet president himself. Like if Democrats were certain these regulations would be worth the cost to which Republicans disagree with, why did they not do something about it for two whole years? It would have been one thing if an accident of this scale happened while Trump was president, but I'm sorry. You're way too late for the blame game, buddy. So what have we learned? We cannot, cannot deal with Republicans this way. We cannot make deals with Republicans. We must overrun them. We must run them out of office. We must do what we have to do. You know, they gerrymander... Uh, Texas and Florida and all their red states to the maximum. We don't do that as Democrats. We need to start. We do, folks. We need to start. Florida, New York, every blue major blue state out there needs to be gerrymandered just as bad as Ohio. We do. And we need to run Republicans out of office so we can quit making these deals and these this, these these cooperative legislation deals that end up biting us in the ass. 
Regarding the train safety regulation, I thought your mission was accomplished when you took the White House in 2020. Again, why did the Democrats not bring the regulation back when they totally could have? That said, I could definitely make the argument that the thing which came back to bite you in the ass was not taking care of it two years ago. And if some of you want to tell me that the Democrats could not have made such a decision on their own, that they needed to have some compliance from the Republicans, well then, please explain the Mexico border and Keystone pipeline, for one. So that we can blunt this and we can yet again deal with the Republicans leveling false allegations. You know, I love criticism, folks. Criticism is the stone in which you keep yourself sharpened. In that case, here is my honest criticism. Put some effort into your arguments. Show proper references, please. Stop treating me like a child with a whole because I said so tactics. But false criticism is someone just throwing stones at you. Oh, the irony. Like, until you present your sources for the claims made here, then everything you've said is a falsehood as far as I'm concerned.